hey guys I am back again um, I have another video for you I hope that you are doing well and that you are having an amazing Sunday today um, I have a very quick video this video is highlighting a recent purchase that I made off of the Tory Burch website um, I purchased one of their like lower price bags it is the Tory Burch York tote and large and the size um excuse me size large and the color french gray they had a 30 percent off coupon last week um uh, which i thought was awesome so i went ahead and took advantage of that and um i got the size large york tote um the 30 percent off coupon you could apply if you purchase 250 dollars or more so i wanted to get the smaller tote but since it was 245 it would not apply the discount so i just went ahead and got the large tote um and it didn't look that it didn't look that bad because i'm only five feet and i'm really small boned so it wasn't too out of scale for me so anyway i'm going to show you the bag i was actually going to do an unboxing but the box that they send it in is huge and i didn't want to hold that thing up so um i'm just going to show you what the bag would look like um when you take it out of the box okay so let me show you that okay so here is the bag and I kind of pulled back a little bit so the hopefully all this white around the bag isn't isn't going to mess with my lighting too bad but this is what it looks like um, they're going to have uh, the bag encased in plastic as well as uh, additional uh, paper um, and they really really pack this bag well you can see right there you're going to have a little label on the front of the plastic and it's going to indicate a style a size and a color so that's how that will look and then once you remove the plastic and all the paper and everything um this is what the bag looks like and i'm going to turn this around to the side because i've already taken a lot of the packaging out of this bag they do pack it very well with extra um, paper and cardboard and all that stuff so that the bag does not lose its shape and get damaged in shipping. But I took all of that out already. Okay, so I want to show you this. They wrap um, the handle as well as the hardware in this foam paper. So what you see on the back of this bag is also on the front, but I just took it off to save time. And uh, let me show you this. This is the hardware. It is a silver tone hardware. Let me get a little bit closer. It's the silver tone hardware there. And then you can see the Tory Burch logo, which is covered in a uh, piece of plastic uh, to protect the hardware. And uh, so this is what the hardware looks like in the front. And this is the only um, detailing that you're really going to have on this bag. It's a very simple classic design. I um, also want to say it's quite uh, lightweight as well. So this is the front of the bag, this is the back of the bag, the side, the other side, and the bottom of the bag. And as you can see, the bag does not have any feet on the bottom. So I was kind of disappointed that it didn't have the protective feet so that if you wanted to sit the bag on the floor or if you wanted to sit it on a table, you know, the material is not going to be protected. So that was a kind of bit of a bummer. but okay so um as far as the exterior of the bag um i do love this color i think this color is awesome um it's more of a light slate gray to me um it looked a little bit darker on the website but um i do like it now it does have this luggagey feel to it um which is fine but it's it is very very lightweight it is not heavy um so um i do again i like the color and i like the style of the bag and i like the structure of the bag so let's get to the meat and that is the interior but before i do that let me show you uh the dust cover okay so this is the dust cover that comes with this bag if anybody's interested in seeing that and of course they're going to send you a dust cover that will fit your bag and this is the little toy brush logo on the drawstring so this is the dust bag this is what it looks like and I actually kind of like the previous dust bags that she had but you know it's just a dust bag right okay and inside the box you are going to get return information so in case you need to send the bag back for whatever reason they will put that in there all in one place for you so if the bag is damaged or 
you know any other hiccups on the bag you have all this information so that you could return it back to Tory Burch okay and then they also uh, put a little card inside of the bag and I'll show you that as well this is just a thank you for your purchase from Tory Burch and you'll get this little card inside there as well in case anyone's interested and so that's what that looks like okay so those two items will be inside the bag then um, let me show you um, what everybody really wants to see which is the interior of the bag okay so I'll show you the pockets that are attached to the front of the bag and um, what I want to say first is that these bags do come with a color coordinated Tory Burch signature lining um, but unfortunately as you can see the lining is not all the way through the bag so that was very disappointing there is no lining on the bottom of the bag or the side of the bag so I didn't particularly care for that I thought they would be kind of cheap that they didn't line the entire bag they only line the pockets and the middle pocket so but um, anyway let me show you the pocket that is attached to the front of the bag and here you can see this is the pocket you have one smaller pocket for your sunglasses or prescription glasses or whatever you want to put right here and then you have another larger pocket okay and let me get up a little bit close so you can see what the lining looks like it's hard to manip manipulate this but okay so this is what the the lining looks like okay there you go now you can see it so you got a little bit of detail okay so this is the pocket that is attached to the front of the bag this is the middle pocket and the middle pocket has a top zipper and I'm holding this bag so weird but the middle pocket has a top zipper um, so this is good in case you need to secure things and the middle pocket is fully lined okay and again it has a top zipper so that's what you could probably put your wallet in or things that you want to make sure you don't lose in case the bag tips over alright and uh, I want to say that this is a free floating pocket by the way this middle section is not attached to the bottom of the bag so it moves so you can push the middle pocket back or you can push it forward so it is free flowing in here it is not sewn to the bottom of the bag okay and then here are the pockets in the back of the bag you have the Tory Burch label right there and then you have the uh, pockets that are attached to the back which is the zipper pouch again you could put your wallet in there if you wanted to and then two pockets that are attached to the zipper pouch and you could put your smartphone it's big enough for a smartphone and for whatever else you'd want to put back here so this is these are the pockets that are attached to the back of the bag okay so hopefully you can see that and then there is a like a little um hook right here that you can attach your keys to um, or anything else that you would want to secure inside of the bag there's a little hook right here and it's attached to the back of the bag so hopefully you can see all of that and so this this is pretty much the whole interior of the bag okay so those are the packets pockets that's attached to the back then you have the middle section and then you have the front section with the other pockets and that's it that is the interior to this tote okay um, I think this is a very nice classic bag and again it has a nice uh, light weight to it it's not super heavy which is good um, I do you know the, the leather is okay on this it's very textured so it feels a little like luggage um, but I guess that's okay um, I could see where it would be a little on the stiff side just so that it would keep its shape um, what I did notice about this bag or le let me just say this the reviews that I read about this bag is that this is not a workhorse bag you don't want to pack this bag with a super heavy laptop or heavy books or just a lot of heavy stuff in your bag because um, it will lose its shape 
because it is very lightweight it's and and the bottom of the bag also is not super reinforced so you can see as I push my hand on it how the bottom of the bag just kind of like drops a little bit so you can see right there that there is not extra reinforcement on the bottom so if you pack it too much it will lose its shape on the bottom it won't stay flat so you have to be careful with that I also heard a lot of things about the straps on this bag I won't say heard but read a lot of reviews about the straps on this bag and I want to show you the straps up close um, it looks like it has top stitching but I believe um, that this strap is actually glued together and they use um, the rubberized sealant to hold the whole strap together and I mentioned something before about this rubberized sealant it can be quite problematic um, later on and it doesn't hold up very well so you have to be conscious of that that's another reason why you really don't want to pack this bag with a, a whole bunch of stuff because you will compromise the straps um, because they are not I don't believe that they're sewn together I believe that they're glued together and then they use the rubberized sealant to just kind of seal everything off or close everything off so you have to be super careful not to pack this bag because if you do that and it gets and you put too much um, heavy items in in here that it again will um, you will start to have problems with your straps giving way and um, just really tearing up very quickly so um, just realize that this is not a workhorse bag um, it's a tote bag but this is not you know your old school 1990s coach bag that you could put everything in a kitchen sink in and this that bad boy is gonna hold up this is not that bag so, um, but it is a nice classic design, uh, very clean looking, and it is something that you can, um, you know, use for your job or for school or anything like that. But just be mindful to put very lightweight stuff in here, you know, maybe a notebook or two, um, a netbook, a, um, an iPad, um, different things like that, very lightweight, small, compact electronics and um you know stay away from the real heavy stuff you know carry another bag that you can put you know your extra heavy laptop in and your books and different things like that so just be mindful of that um but it is good on the other hand that it is lightweight because then you're not struggling with the very heavy bag and you're carrying it on your shoulder and it's cutting into your shoulder and different things like that you can it's not so heavy that it will discourage you from carrying it because i do have a couple of bags where the weight on the bag is very good but sometimes I'm discouraged from carrying it because it's so heavy <laughs> and I'm only five feet too so you know I, I, I get um, discouraged with a couple of really nice bags that I have because they're just too the leather is just too heavy so I like the fact that this is light and breezy and um, because of that I don't again I don't think that it's meant for you to put a whole bunch of stuff in here I have seen some what's in my bag videos where um, people are showcasing their handbags and all the stuff that's in it and I just I see some of these videos and I think these women are absolutely crazy to carry all that crap around with them I mean it's it's insane why would you carry all that junk with you day to day day in and day out just packing your handbag with a bunch of foolishness it just makes absolutely no sense to me it's like people need to declutter and that includes their handbags I mean all you basically need is like your wallet your smartphone your house keys make sure you have some tissue some hand sanitizer and a lipstick and maybe some eyeshadow and that's it like you don't need anything else in your bag and I see these videos and I think these women are absolutely insane for carrying around all of that ridiculous crap in their handbags I mean everything but the kitchen sink it's just it's dysfunctional to me <laughs> but anyway that was my little rant I squeezed a little rant in there <laughs> but anyway okay so this is this is the quick a uh, quick um, overview of this bag and uh, just my personal opinions on it um, I do like it wish that um, you were able to carry a little bit more stuff in here uh, without feeling like you would end up compromising the straps or losing the shape of the bag but it is what it is so um, but I do like it and uh, I do plan on enjoying my purchase 
So yes, yeah, so this is the review, uh, well my personal take on the Tory Burch York Tote in French Grey and the size large. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video and as always don't forget to rate and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Have an awesome day. Okay, bye bye.